Welcome to our Microsoft Technology Centre here in Martin Place, Sydney. This is a safe place to come to learn about technology, to envision your strategy, and even to prototype how technology could best support your business or clinical processes. It's where we've set up a dedicated health immersion experience. Let's take a walk and see what that looks like today. So here we are in the clinical zone and we're going to pick up the story with Rita in a hospital bed. We're going to see how technology supports a safe, effective journey for her in the hospital setting. So let's start with rounding. Here's a view from the nurse's station of all of the patients on my ward. This is not the electronic medical record. This is a view created using low code principles that summarises information from many different systems. As a nurse coming onto shift, I can quickly and easily see who's on my ward and summary information that's really key. I can drill into any of these patients. I can see information including the medications they're on, alerts that are there, and even multimedia like videos about handover from the last person on shift. All of this is within Teams, which is an application that I as a clinician use regularly. And it's not just patients. As a nurse on the ward, I'm continually looking for equipment to deliver care and I can see that in real time on this dashboard. I can see where the IV poles are and the pulse oximetry machines and whether they're in use. And just being able to see that in real time prevents me from having to go room to room to find that equipment. So let's move to the patient bed. Here Rita is sitting in a modern smart bed, which is able to collect important information, including respiratory rate, heart rate, temperature, even weight. It's not just the patient that the bed is collecting information about, it collects information about its status, whether the handrails are up or down, whether the brakes are off. And I, as a nurse, back at the nurse's station, can see all of this information without actually having to go into the patient's room. Now we're going to have a look at how technology can support a safer medication administration process. I've got a portable device. It's a tablet, it's got a hand strap, and it's got important QR readers and cameras on it. So I could barcode using this. Or I could use a smaller form factor that's better for my workflow. The important principles of barcoded medication administration are that I barcode myself, the patient, and the medication that I plan to give. Let me do that. So first up, I'm going to barcode my staff ID to say who's administering the medication. Next, I'm going to barcode the patient. So that's scanned and I can see it's patient Rita. Now I'm going to scan this medication that I plan to administer. And the system is telling me that Rita is not prescribed this medication. So it's preventing me from making a mistake. I'm just going to go back. And now I'm going to scan the actual medication. And now I can see that I'm giving the right medication to the right patient at the right time. And hence, the barcoded medication administration process has made for safer administration of drugs. Now we're going to have a look at how technology can support the development of new clinical skills. Just going to pop my HoloLens on the head. Today I'm a student learning cardiac ultrasound. Traditionally, it's quite difficult. You get a probe, you get a patient, and you don't really know what you're looking at when you put the probe on the patient and see this complex grayscale image. However, for training and simulation purposes, we've modeled what the beam is intersecting with, and I can see where the organs are and how the, this ultrasound beam is intersecting them. It allows me to more effectively find the organs that I'm looking for and then get the perfect image. I can even take that to the next level. Here as I put down my HoloLens visor, I am seeing holograms. As I move the beam around, I can see the beam cutting through what I'm looking at. And this allows me to develop the perfect clinical technique to actually see what I'm doing. I'm doing this as an individual, but this could be in a group situation. I could be an instructor teaching other medical students or a medical student sharing my experience with others so we can learn in a group together. So we're going to continue to look at how technology can help me acquire new clinical skills. And in this instance, we're going to use holographic technology to simulate a patient interaction that is quite immersive. I'm going to pop down my HoloLens visor 
and I can see Jerry in front of me. So these are traditionally taught using a textbook or actors, which is quite sterile. But here, in this scenario, I can see Jerry with his shoulder wound that's been sutured. I can hear him breathing up and his breathing is a bit laboured. I can see his skin colour, which is splotchy and he's itching. And then I can see a panel of his vital signs that show that his blood pressure is up, his heart rate is up, he's got a mild temperature and his oxygen saturation is not great. This is a picture of a patient in distress and I wouldn't get this from the textbook. This highly immersive scenario that I could either learn by myself or with other people together develops the kind of muscle memory and clinical skills that means that I'm well equipped for the first time I'm presented with this kind of situation in a live instance on the ward or in the emergency department. So now we've seen how technology can support safer and more efficient care. We started in the clinical zone and we saw how technology could enable nurses to see all of the activity that's going on on the ward, including patients and equipment. Then we moved to the smart bed where we saw Rita and the bed was collecting important biophysical parameters about Rita, including her vital signs but it was also transmitting important safety information back to the nurse's station so that they could see at a glance what the situation was like on the ward. We had a look at barcoded medication administration processes and how technology can ensure that patients get the right medication at the right time. And then finally, we saw how technologies like 3D modeling, simulation and holograms can help clinicians acquire new skills. This is the health immersion experience in the Sydney office at One Martin Place. Please come join us and participate in a discussion about how technology can support safer and more efficient patient care today and into the future.